Good morning. A little while ago, I did a personal brand workshop for the whole of an HR team at a bank. And it all went very well, and I packed up my stuff, and I started making my way to the station. And I ended up just walking along with one of the people who'd been on the workshop, a young lady. And as we were walking, she started chatting to me, and she said, you know what, that workshop today has really given me a kick up the backside. And you know when you think, oh, what happened that I missed? And she said, the thing is, a couple of weeks ago, within my department, a vacancy came up. A what would have been a promotion for me and that I was absolutely perfect for. And she said, I was so perfect for it, I sat back and I waited to be offered the job. She said, you know what happened? You've already heard a groan, you know what happened. While she was waiting, they announced who else had got the job. And she was left like this. She said, you know, I was, I've been so angry for the last couple of weeks. I've been angry at my boss for not, you know, seeing how great I am. I've been angry at the company. I've been thinking of leaving. And she said, and having done your course today, I've realized something. Yeah, I should have got the job, but it was no one else's responsibility but mine. And what she realized, which <laughs> we should all realize, but sometimes life doesn't make it as obvious as you want it to, great careers don't happen. Great careers are what you make happen. That is people buying people, because it isn't about the product you're buying, it's the fact that if you don't buy the person in there, and all I mean is you don't like them, or you don't trust them, or you don't respect them, or conversely, you do like, trust, and respect them, that's how the relationships are formed, and that's, that's how things work. Turn it back on you, though, the more people who buy into you, like you, trust you, respect you, value you, the further your career can go. Because when those opportunities are being discussed and you're not even there, they're the people who are selling you to others. I want you to think of your brand as being like your signature dish. So pretend that you're a top chef and you can cook literally thousands of different dishes. The queen's coming to dinner and you have only one dish that is there that's gonna wow her. What do you choose? Out of your whole repertoire, what are the few ingredients that if you put those together, that is going to impress? When you are getting people to buy you, when you're getting them to buy into you, there are two things that you want to be selling them at the same time. The first is your what. What I mean by that is at a functional level, what are you offering them? What knowledge have you got? What experience have you got? What results have you delivered? What qualifications do you have? What sectors have you worked in? All the stuff that you would put on your CV and someone would pay you for, think of that as your what, okay? Your real credibility bit. But people buy people. I don't just buy your what, it's your who that I'm interested in. Because only then will I make that emotional connection. Do I like you, do I trust you, value you or respect you? So the who bit is your personality, it's your character, it's your attitude, it's your behavior, it's your values. It's the, it's the, think of it as this way, what are you bringing to the table, but who is bringing it? Jeff Bezos, the guy that founded Amazon said, your brand's what people say when you're not in the room. And that's what it boils down to. And if we take this back to a career perspective, think of all the conversations that are being had when you're not in the room that you don't even know about. Because you can be the most efficient, the most deadline meeting, the hardest working person in your organization. But if nobody knows that, so what? You could be putting in maximum effort and not getting out maximum benefit for your career.